Carrollton, Texas. You know what? I'm not even going to front. This video will be biased. So if you're looking for an unbiased representation of Carrollton, this is not that video. The reason being is because I lived in Carrollton. That's where I bought my first house. That's where I built my community. It's just been so good to me. So there's really not much bad that I'm going to say about Carrollton. I'll throw in some uh, things that could be improved, but this will be heavily biased. But disclaimers aside, let's get to Carrollton, Texas. Let's get to Carrollton's history, what it's like to live in Carrollton, and what's the affordability, employment, lifestyle, and real estate truly like. But most importantly, and while I will have a bias, understand that we're still gonna compare Carrollton to other cities in a meaningful way so you can make an informed decision. Because I really wanna share everything that you need to know about Carrollton, Texas. Carrollton's located on the northern part of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex and is truly accessible everywhere you turn. And similar to Coppell, Carrollton has access to highways that are gonna get you through the DFW area pretty quickly. You have Sam Rayburn Tollway to the north. You have Interstate I-35 East running north to south, pretty ironic. You have the George Bush Turnpike going from east to west right through Carrollton. And you're a few blocks away from the Dallas North Tollway and Interstate 635. Now, if you're trying to get to downtown Fort Worth, that's gonna take you about 40 minutes. And if you're trying to get to Dallas, that's 25 minutes. Now, when I lived in Carrollton, I had to make this trip quite frequently, the trip of the DFW International Airport, which takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, that gives you a sense of where Carrollton is in relation to the cities that you've probably heard of or locations that you need to get to quite frequently. But to give you a better sense of traffic, this is how far you can go away from Carrollton within 30 minutes. So now that you know where in the world Carrollton, Texas even is, I want to welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez. I'm a realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. So don't forget to hit that like button because that really helps out the channel. All right, so now back to Carrollton because this is what you came for. Carrollton's one of those cities that's located in three distinct counties, Dallas County, Denton County, and Collin County. The city was founded in 1842 and was incorporated in 1913. And over time, Carrollton evolved from a small farming community into a thriving suburb of Dallas, thanks in part to its convenient location along major transportation routes. And today, Carrollton is home to a diverse population of over 136,000 residents who enjoy a variety of amenities such as award-winning parks, an extensive network of trails, and a vibrant retail and dining scene. Now, while it retains a small town feel, Carrollton is home to a variety of businesses and amenities, making it an attractive place for families and professionals alike. And yes, I can attest to this because it's all of these factors that factored into my decision making whenever I purchased my first home. And at that time, I was actually working in Denton, which is about 30 to 35 minutes away, depending on how much traffic I got. So I saw so much value in the area, so many of the qualities that I wanted that I ultimately purchased a home even though I could have very easily purchased something a lot closer up in Denton. But with all that being said, let's see what niche.com has to say, which interprets mainly so data sets that compare cities to cities all across the country. And as far as niche.com is concerned, Carrollton receives an A grade from Niche having aggregated the 12 categories you see on the screen. And as far as current or former residents are concerned, Carrollton receives a four out of five stars. So a great exercise for you will be to go down to the description and find the full report that Niche.com did on Carrollton. That way you see the deep breakdown on the 12 categories that you saw on the screen, but also you get to read the reviews of current and former residents of Carrollton. So let's move on to these parks that you keep hearing about, whether you're looking to do disc golf, go to dog parks, parks themselves, or trails, Carrollton has your spot. From a parks perspective, there's 29 parks to choose from with all sorts of amenities such as basketball courts, fitness rooms, sand volleyball courts, tennis courts, and more. From a trails perspective, you have miles and miles to choose from, my favorite one being the Blue Trail, which is a long one that allows you to see a good portion of Carrollton. Now, if you continue going, you see that there's more trails that allow you to see the rest of Carrollton as well. Now, I'll admit, I worked quite a bit, so I wasn't the most outdoorsy person. So any opportunity that I had to leave the house and not be at work, that time was very valuable to me and I spent it out here. But now let's talk about something all of us should care about, at least to a certain extent, which is the school system. 
And here's the thing, regardless if you have kids or don't have kids, the school system impacts you from a property taxes perspective and also from a resale value. So having a at least a superficial understanding of the school system is valuable. Carrollton shares the school district with Farmers Branch, which is comprised of nearly 25,000 students, has a 94.4 four-year graduation rate, with a total of 38 campuses, 24 being elementary schools, six being middle schools, and five being high schools. And if you're looking for fun facts, the ISD has 52 languages spoken and was awarded over $6 million in scholarships for athletes. And when it comes to the students per teacher ratio, you're looking at 14 to one, which is better than the state average. And as far as percentage of teachers with three or more years of experience, it has 87% versus the state average of 84%. Now, given that I'm a real estate agent, there's certain things that I am not able to cover when it comes to schools. So check out the full report down below. But what I am able to cover is a very important question, which is, is there a Chick-fil-A in Carrollton? And I am thankful to report there is a Chick-fil-A. All right, I'm only half joking, although it's very important for me. I understand that Chick-fil-A is not for everyone, but what is for everyone is real estate. So regardless, if you're a renter or a homeowner, we need to understand what the real estate market is doing in Carrollton because it impacts so much of your quality of life. Now, from a macro perspective, the typical home value of homes in Carrollton is $437,556, which this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. And the following is not a typo. Carrollton home values have gone up 26% over the past year, which compared to the previous 10 years, you can see just how drastic that rise in prices was. Now that gives you a better sense of where Carrollton has been and slightly a bit of information on where it's going. But here is where we introduce the broader picture. This is where we introduce what the other cities around Carrollton are actually doing. The median home value in the colony is 434,000. In Plano, it's 547,000. Dallas, 337,000. Addison, 479,000. Farmers Branch, 392,000. Coppell, 621,000. And Louisville's median home value is 430,000. This gives you a visual of what the real estate around the city looks like. So if there's some aspects and qualities and amenities that you love about Carrollton, but want to shop around, this gives you an understanding of what real estate looks like around the city. Now, I understand without visuals, these numbers, they're basically meaningless. Now, to give you a better sense of the type of home that you can buy with this $438,000 median sales price, check out the homes that are right around this range that are selling right now. Now again, those homes are selling for that median home value right now of about $438,000. Now, if you're curious on what that means from a monthly mortgage payment, check out this video that I made where I break that down in its entirety. And this video is really a must watch if you're brand new to the DFW market because property taxes are not like other states. Property taxes are some of the highest in the country, so I want you to be aware. And by the way, if you're looking for the homes that are available for sale right now in Carrollton, check out our preferred homes list down below because now we need to go a bit broader. Now we need to talk about the cost of living in Carrollton, which is actually 15% less than the national average with housing being 26% less than the national average. Now utilities is actually gonna be 18% more and with groceries, you get another discount of 9% versus the national average and with transportation being about 1% less than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, Jaime, Carrollton sounds like the city for me. If that's you, check out our information down in the description. We would love to connect with you. But if you're not sold on Carrollton, that's okay too. I wanna to give you some other cities for you to consider. I want you to check out the colony and I also want you to check out Farmer's Branch because they have a similar feel than Carrollton.